In this episode, we're installing a manual fan switch on the SRT4. Hey, what's up guys? In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to install a manual fan switch on your car. But first, be sure to subscribe, and if you like these videos, go show your support on our Patreon page. So a manual fan switch is a switch that lets you turn on your radiator fans whenever you want. Now the car normally turns the fans on when the coolant reaches a certain temperature, but usually that's a pretty high temperature. And there are plenty of good reasons why you would want to turn the fans on before then. Now I use mine when I'm in the staging lanes at the track. I turn it on when I'm doing laps on the track or doing pulls on the freeway on a hot day. And it's also useful if you need to cool your car down before you turn it off. Now any car that has an electric radiator fan can be set up with a switch. Now the idea is to use the switch to ground out one of the pins on the fan control relay. So what I'm gonna show you today should take you about 15 minutes, doesn't require any splicing or soldering, and it's a pretty simple project. So let's get started. You'll need to get yourself a two prong switch and some 16 gauge wire along with two spade connectors and an eyelet connector. I ran out of spade connectors so I'm reusing a wire I made previously which required a bit of soldering. But don't worry, you won't need to solder anything. Measure and cut two lengths of wire, one short and one long. One will go to a ground point under the dash and the other will go into the engine bay to your fuse box. Crimp a spade connector at one end of each wire, and then crimp the eyelet on the other end of the short wire. Connect both wires to the switch. For easy access, find a location on or under your dash to place the switch. I don't want to drill any holes, so I'm placing the switch in a notch under the steering wheel. Find a ground point and attach the eyelet on the short wire. I'm using one of the grounds near the interior fuse box. Make sure the wire is out of the way and won't interfere with anything. Pop your hood and make sure you know where your fuse box is. We need to feed the long wire through the firewall and it's easier to do this if you use something like a solid piece of wire. Feed it through the firewall first, then tape the wire on one end and pull it through. Make sure the wire doesn't bind or get caught on anything while you're pulling it through. Locate and open your fuse box. On the lid, there's a diagram. Find your fan relay on the diagram and then remove the relay from its socket. Route your wire how you want it and then cut it to length. Strip the end of the wire and twist it together, and then bend it 90 degrees. You want to insert the wire into the ground pin, which is usually pin 85. Now press the relay back into place and make sure the wire is secure. Turn the key to the on position and press the switch to test it out. I'm using double-sided tape to hold the switch in place. Finish up by tucking and securing the wire, and then replacing the fuse box cover.
So that's it. That's how you install a manual fan switch. Not too hard, right? Now, if it doesn't work, then check the wires. You may have them backwards on the switch, depending on the type of switch you got, or you may be grounding out the wrong pin on the relay. So make sure you're grounding out the correct pin. Now, try not to leave the fans running for long periods of time. Turn them on only when you need them. Turn them off when you don't. All right, so that's it for this episode. Be sure to subscribe, and if you like this video, click that like button or leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.